Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another PlayStation 4 review. Today's review is for the brand new simulation type game, House Flipper. Now, I'm constantly on the search for games that you could chill out with. I'm at an age now, my Call of Duty days are long behind me, my FIFA days. All those games that make you chuck your controllers across the room and yell at the TV. I'm not interested in those games, generally speaking, at all. Um, I don't like to ga play games that make me feel frustrated. I like to relax when I'm gaming. Um, so, uh, consequently, that's why I quite like those city building type games. You might see me playing them quite a lot and putting tutorials up and reviews on those sort of games. However, these sort of games, these simulation type games, um, I've tried to get into them in the past. I've played the car mechanic simulator. I did put some gameplay up on that last year. I was hoping that was going to be a nice chill out game, but it, you almost needed a degree in engineering as a mechanic to play that game. It was too complex for me and it was it really frustrated me and I found it a little bit too difficult. So I was in two minds whether to bother getting this game House Flipper. Um, I didn't look at any reviews, I didn't look at any gameplay, I just took a punt on it and it was 19.99 in the UK in the PlayStation Store and I thought I'll give it a go um, and I've got to tell you I'm quite pleasantly surprised by this game it is a really really relaxing game to play however um, if your gameplay loop uh, if, if, if this gameplay loop does not sound interesting to you don't bother because basically all you're doing for the majority of this game is clearing up rubbish cleaning dirt painting walls fix putting radiators up putting um, sinks up knocking down walls all this kind of stuff certainly in the early stages of this game um, that's what you're doing um, now you basically start off working in a shack um, and it's a pretty messy shack as well I've got to be honest um, and you're working at the beginning of this game as like a handyman uh, odd job man um, and you're doing job people will email you and they'll give you jobs to do and it might just be clearing up the garage uh, mopping the floors getting rid of all the rubbish or it might be something more complex as decorating someone's house um, clearing their house after students putting new radiators up um, fixing this that and the other cleaning all the windows painting walls um, and then you get start getting more complex jobs uh, knocking down walls separating rooms making one room uh, two rooms into one all that kind of stuff um, and you get paid quite well paid for doing these jobs and the idea is you build up your money keep building it up keep building it up by doing all these odd jobs for people and then you will eventually have your oh, enough money to basically buy your own property and then you can go in there um, fix it up however you see fit because there's an extensive storefront here where you can buy all these realistic looking products um, everything you can imagine for fixing up a house right down from uh, tiles, paints, curtains, uh, cookers, kitchen appliances, bedroom furniture every single thing that you could imagine is available in this game for you to fit into these houses so when you've made enough money by doing odd jobs for people um, you can buy your own house and then basically flip it for a profit and continue to do that continue to take odd jobs for people to keep boosting your money um, and then um, flipping houses basically um, however you see fit in order to make the most profit and that's the gameplay loop here now if that doesn't sound interesting to you and that wouldn't surprise me if it didn't um, certainly if you like playing Call of Duty and things like that then this is certainly not the game for you however I've been really quite surprised with the gameplay how addictive it is um, and how simple is it to use um, it's quite prescriptive as what you have to do certainly in the um, earlier missions when you're going into people's homes to do the jobs for them that they're requesting on the emails um, it's quite prescriptive you'll walk into a room and then there's a list on the right hand side that tells you what needs doing in that room um, cleaning the dirt cleaning the windows mounting radiators 
um, all that kind of stuff and it tells you what you need to do in each room painting walls knocking down walls and then when you've done that room it tells you you've done every all the tasks in that room and then you move on to the next room and then it, it tells you when you've done the job either enough so that you can get most of your money or a hundred percent complete so you'll get all the money from the person that's hired you to do the job um, so it's 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 quite prescriptive I mean there's, there's been a number of occasions when I've gone in jobs and it's, it's asked you to replace an electrical socket and you're kind of like what I can't find it anywhere um, and I spent quite a long time looking um, but the clues are all there on the mini map if you if you play this game um, it'll give you like a little red marker tell you where the electrical socket is and there might be a piece of furniture in front of it or a plant or something like that you need to move out of the way to repair these electrical sockets and you literally have to get right down into these sockets take away the old sockets and screw everything put in the new sockets and screw everything back into place it's very very good in regards to how it gets you to do everything um, it literally when you're painting you've got a roller in your hand and you have to put it in the paint put it on the wall and then it runs out after about two or three runs on the wall then you have to go back to the paint um, so it actually makes you do all the jobs you have to do all the jobs I mean obviously it's not as uh, labor intensive as it is in real life this is a game at the end of the day but um, it feels quite realistic um, and it's very satisfying when you have been told to paint a wall a certain color you get that color you put it on the floor you get your roller and you paint it that color um, and then it's done at the end it's actually quite a satisfying feeling it's quite hard to describe really but it is a very very satisfying game this it's it's so chilled out you can just take your time with it there's no real punishments if you get fed up in one house you can always leave it take on another job and then go back to it if you get fed up in one house um, it, I've never really found it confusing to use it is very very easy to use and learn this game far easier than I expected certainly after playing something like car mechanic simulator this game is very good and very very chilled out and you, it's one of those pick up and play games um, that most people are going to be able to learn how to play very very quickly um, and certainly if you're into interior decorating and things like that you're going to love this game if you like night game chilled out games it is a little bit fiddly placing furniture I think Fallout 4 you know sometimes when you're doing the building mode in Fallout 4 and it's a bit fiddly putting things and they just don't fit and you have to adjust it here and there. it's a little bit fiddly sometimes um, moving furniture about and getting it just where you want it but not frustratingly so I wouldn't suggest um, and certainly when you start working on your first house when you have um, made enough money to buy your first house to to do it to decorate and build and do it how you want and flip it is very very satisfying to get in there and do it exactly how you want to do it basically without somebody else telling you what you should be doing in there so it's it's a great game to pick up and play it's a game I'm really really getting quite a lot of fun out of but it should be recognized you know it's nothing groundbreaking here but if you like nice chilled out relaxed games uh, if you're a bit like me in that sense it's worth picking up and it's a decent price as well 19.99 I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 it's a nice chilled out relaxed game it's well made uh, it looks pretty good I've not had any issues with the graphics or anything like that um, so I hope you found this review useful